Jesse Ryder has, has got a problem and quite clearly we thought he'd dealt with it. He hasn't dealt with it properly. It, it's his problem, it's New Zealand cricket's problem. To a certain extent it's not anybody else's issue. Um, it, it just impacts on the team and on the public image of the game I guess. And he's doing himself no favours. It's a tragedy really because he's such a talented cricketer and uh, it would be nice to think that he could overcome that issue. Martin, you can help well, the, the, I'll try to, but I mean, the, the public uh, get involved because they are watching the New Zealand cricket team play and those those guys are representing New Zealand. So when Jesse Ryder's in camp, um, they want their, their representatives to, uh, to behave um, and to prepare for the games because you, you need all you can to, to get ready to play the best in the world. Um, that's not happening with Jesse enough and, uh, and so people are disappointed um, all across the nation. I think everyone thought he had turned a corner, um, but clearly he's got some work to do. What to do with Ryder and Bracewell? How many times have we gone down this path about talking about their behaviour? What happened I think was totally unprofessional. Well, I think now with Jesse Ryder, he's, a, he's actually an alcoholic. He cannot drink. As long as he drinks alcohol, he's always going to find trouble. Yes, it's a story because the guys went out the night before a test match. A Frost Taylor's wife was called into labour, Ryder should have been ready to play. It's the same with Bracewell. If Wagner or Bolt or one of those pace bowlers pulled the handy on the morning of the game, he had to be ready to play. Whether they were out drinking or not is not even the point. They've got themselves into some real trouble here and it is a story because it's impacted on the team and it affects their ability to play cricket. Goodness knows how he's broken his foot but you have to think now too these guys might be on borrowed time. Ryder absolutely has to stop drinking, otherwise his cricket career is down the tubes. As for Bracehall, you'd also have to think, look, if it's good enough for the England cricket board to get rid of Kevin Peterson, then Doug Bracehall is expendable. Neil Wagner's stocks went like that after the test number one. Bracehall's stocks have come right down. There wasn't much between those guys a few days ago. Now the gap is that, and I wonder if there's any way back for both of these players.